Welcome to Bloom's Taxonomy for Cognitive Learning and Teaching. In the mid-1950s, Benjamin Bloom and a group of educational psychologists published a classification of the goals of the educational process, or levels of intellectual behavior believed to be important in learning. This classification became a taxonomy including three overlapping domains. The cognitive, which is about knowing, psychomotor, which deals with doing or hands-on, and effective, which is about attitudes and feelings. Only the psychomotor taxonomy was never published. The most well-developed of the three is the cognitive taxonomy. Experts contend that the taxonomies are a bit out of date and as a result are being re-examined, but they remain helpful in the process of course design and curriculum development. This learning object focuses on the cognitive domain taxonomy the one that is most familiar to instructors and instructional designers. This taxonomy is familiarly known as Bloom's Taxonomy. The first step of the taxonomy is knowledge. This step deals with recalling specific items, facts, etc. Words used when writing competencies or measurable objectives for learning experiences include defines, describes, enumerates, etc. Comprehension is recalling, as well as doing a little more, such as paraphrasing, defining, and discussing to some extent. Words used when writing competencies or measurable objectives for learning experiences include the following. Classifies, cites, converts, etc. Application is using information of an abstract nature in new and concrete situations to solve problems that have single or best answers. Words used for writing competencies or measurable objectives for learning experiences include the following. Acts, administers, articulates, etc. Analysis is breaking down a communication into its constituent parts, revealing the relationships among them, identifying motives or causes, making inferences, and or finding evidence to support generalizations. Words used when writing competencies or measurable objectives for learning experiences include breaks down, correlates, diagrams, etc. Synthesis is pulling together many disorganized elements or parts to form a whole. Words used when writing competencies or measurable objectives for learning experiences include adapts, anticipates, categorizes, etc. Evaluation is judging the value of material based on personal values and opinions, resulting in an end product with a given purpose, but without real right or wrong answers. Words used when writing competencies or measurable objectives for learning experiences include appraises, compares and contrasts, concludes, etc. Now it's time to test your knowledge. Which level of Bloom's taxonomy matches the word list or description on the left.
you've completed Bloom's Taxonomy for Cognitive Learning and Teaching.